Hi, this is Nia Feiler and I'm here with the weekly astrological message for the week between Friday the 13th and the 22nd of August 2021. What an energy packed week we have. This is where I talk about celestial energies. We are all affected from all zodiac signs. And I just want to stress, you know, that we could, um, like, take for example, gravity. We are all affected by gravity. That doesn't mean that we are all laying down on the floor constantly and, 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 and don't have any power to raise ourselves. We are the ones in control of our future, of our destiny, of our actions. We are the ones who decide if we get up, jump, walk, and wherever it is we are going to walk and why. Same thing with astrology. The planets don't control your life. They don't compel you, they impel you as a great astrologer once said, which I don't remember <laughs> their name. Um, I think it, maybe it was Zoller. Zoller was the one with the gravity. Well, anyway, that's the analogy, you know. We're the rulers of our destiny. That's what evolutionary astrology is partly about, you know, the evolution of our souls. And this is an important week in that sense, because this week we have... I mean immense and an immense energetic wave coming towards us that you know is both good and bad it's just intense but if you ask me it's going to be a lot of fun but other than that it's a time of great epiphanies it's a time of understanding it's a time of taking decisions that actually have a long-term effect on where it is we are leading our lives and when I say that I mean it in both the personal and the collective levels at the same time you know mercury is squaring the nodes on the 15th exactly mercury is the planet of communication mercury is the planet of decision making it's in charge of the logical uh, frontal cortex you know and and whenever it is squaring the nodes decisions that are made understandings that are gained information that is assimilated has a long-term effect on the evolution of the one and the all. Other than that, you know, when we step into next week, we are heading into an energy-packed, dense um, um, kind of uh, sky with Mercury planet of communication conjunct the planet of male energy, uh, Mars, on the 19th exactly we have to watch out from heated conversation from not being too convicted about our um, you know um, opinions and 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 be sure that we are the ones that have the truth the whole truth and everybody else is just wrong and part of the problem Adding to that, on the 20th, the Sun is going to be in opposition to Jupiter. All of Jupiter's light is going to face Earth. Now, on the one hand, this is again a time of great epiphanies. This is a time of independent thought. This is a time of breakthrough when it comes to understandings and, 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 and logical proceedings that actually cause actions and, 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 and you know lead us in a certain direction. That has a long-term effect this is a time of expansion of horizons this is a time of unveiling of truth this is a time of enlightenment in a sense and the diminishing of darkness nevertheless it could heighten greatly our conviction it could make us sure that we need to you know teach the good gospel to everyone around us and we need to watch out from that this is a time to try new communication this is a time to try new things this is a time that you know flexibility and understanding that we still need to innovate that we still need to learn that we are the ones that still need to move forward and we need to do that together communally is blessed when mercury planet of communication and uranus planet of community and planet of innovation are enshrined on the 20th as well and the energetic peak of next week 
um, or even a little more than that and I'm going to talk about that in the next video is the full moon on the 22nd I'm going to talk about that full moon in the next weekly video but just before that we're having Mars planet of male energy trining Uranus planet of innovation and community and again this is a time that you know our tolerance could decrease we could want to move forward so fast that we disregard or disrespect people communities or projects that are already part of our lives we can feel that they are keeping us you know way in the back when we need to actually move forward so it's not about throwing babies with bath waters it's about doing the right thing and doing it the right way um, and moving together forward um, there are two trines grand trines in the sky as we are heading into um, the 20th and the 21st and the 22nd one is a, uh, an earth grand trine with Mercury conjunct Mars on the one hand and then we have Uranus uh, trining it and then we have the moon trining it all in the signs of earth a grand earth trine means that not only great decisions can be made but actually can be established on the ground this is a time for actually planting things in the real this is a time for establishing a new reality this is a time of actually creating a new base that will enable us to actually you know one day fruit the fruits that we want uh, be able to produce one day this is a time of seeding and definitely a time that is good for doing all of these materialistic changes and advancements that we want the other trine is an air trine between Saturn and the North Node and Venus which is basically a lot about our mental capacity to understand what it is that we need to do to create stability with the plane of materialistic of earth of matter of um, you know this plane that we're living in symbolized by Venus symbolized by the earth symbolized by you know the bodies we are in and the relationship that we have with the material world how can we grow mature become more responsible and actually walk forward to create a more stable and 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 less karmatic future for all of us so definitely an important time definitely a, a very energetic time definitely an exciting time I wanna mention that every comment every share exposes these videos to more people I wanna remind you that I'll be very happy to hear from you for private consultations or for private lessons or courses all levels and just anything you want to ask about astrology all the details at the slide at the end this is Nia Fada wishing us all may we live long and prosper